see if you are not able to hear please reconnect anyone not able to hear you must reconnect okay so let me tell you so today day one this is the first class this is going to be a demo session to give you information about what is bpm what is pega and what is its purpose in order to understand this you don't need to be a technical person you don't need any technical background okay and in fact to learn pega also you don't need any technical background and day two also continuation of the same okay you will understand more in depth about the same not the same in the sense i'm sorry so this is continuation of day one so this cannot be covered on uh, within one hour so day two will be continuation see here we have a ppt so this ppt has around 26 slides leave about two of the slides or one slide 25 we have so we will be able to finish only i think up to 13th or 14th slide okay let me check probably we should be able to finish up to 15th slide remaining things we will not be able to finish today or talk about today because it will take time to understand and all so but you will be getting a clear idea attending on day one and day two definitely you will be getting a clear idea about what is pega what is its use where we use it okay and what is bpm how it is related to bpm all this will be clarified and you will also understand what is pega prpc the terminology that you might have heard so everything will be pretty much clear to you to understand and what about day three day three would be like we have some questions see you might have some doubts and queries right so there may be many questions that you may have in your mind okay like whether pega is suitable for you to learn and based on your technical background is this suitable or not based on your employment background it is suitable or not if you are a fresher whether i should take up this course or not see like this there are so many questions in your mind what are the job opportunities in market okay what are the certifications to be done how long would be the course duration what will be provided during this course what is the material what about hands-on projects okay how we help in resume preparation interview preparations what about mock interviews what about practice sessions like this there are so many questions and there are so many things that we need to let you know about so all that will be clarified on day three see i know many of you might have so many questions in your mind by this time whether you want whether you wanted to take up this course or not okay but all that will be sorted out on day three so i know that during the class hours i am not going to give you a chance to ask me any personal questions uh, say sir i have a gap of three years i am learning now pega so what about my job route and job opportunities for this you can call us anytime we will sort out your questions that may not be needed to discuss during the session itself so today and tomorrow purely we will fully focus on understanding about what is pega and its use clearly in detail first you learn it later we can decide whether to proceed or not based on our profile okay so first thing is to fully focus on understanding about what is bpm what is pega what is its usage okay what are you going to be when you learn pega and like this we will fully focus on understanding these things on day one and day two day three i will take up your questions i have already drafted so many questions i have dealt with so many people by this time so i know what are the general questions that you ask most of the questions are already drafted and it is available with me so at the end of today's session you will be getting the recording video of this particular class posted and link will be shared to you and also the ppt what i am showing now this ppt will be shared to you on your whatsapp plus i will send one more document called faq means the one what i have told now frequently asked questions you might be asking so many questions right generally before you come back to us go through that document once 
you have some question in your mind whether you are suitable as per your education background or not most of the questions will be listed in that and we have a written answer there after going through that still you want to, to talk to us you call us and we will clarify your queries and doubts further okay so but go through the document once it has around 23 to 24 questions covered that people generally ask apart from that anything else is there you talk to us no problem we will be available to you okay everyone clear online resources also that is what i will tell you about the training duration why the duration is so long here all that data is there in frequently asked questions today tomorrow everyone you fully focus on understanding what is it first of all later we can think about other questions there is no problem spending three days time okay gaining some information about what you are trying to opt for okay so let's proceed okay. now so let me tell you about myself myself i am harsha okay so i have total around uh, nearly uh, around 14 years of experience in it okay so where we are now a full-fledged training academy so where we are going to train the people on pega devops okay python full stack python java full stack courses okay and apart from this we have sql and even salesforce um, api and bpm api and bpm okay so we have these courses and ui technologies related to javascript node.js okay um, and html programming languages these courses are available so we are full-fledged completely uh, running an academy where we are going to serve the people with the respective courses mostly we are going to fully focus on providing any uh, uh, technology training in a real-time oriented way okay how you are going to work in enterprise application development so our target is enterprise learning okay that is where we are going to usually focus on for any trainings so for freshers and all all these technologies are suitable but as of now you know in the market it is in recession uh, and it is in freeze mode okay it's not a huge impact in india but it has some impact okay once fresher openings are available any technology you learn we can show you opportunities for experienced it is always there okay but little bit less now because of recession but it will come back ups and downs in it industry or any other industry is pretty common okay in our personal life also and like this so i have around 14 years of experience and i have around 12 years of experience nearly only on teaching pega okay so we are the first one to start pega training i think when you inquire about pega training anywhere you will hear about harsha trainings for sure i i think most of you guys who are attending this demo session 95 percent of you are from references only maybe just five percent you might have been inquiring here and there and all but 95 percent of the people whoever is attending this session okay they must be attending with references that i know okay because the people who have joined before you they got jobs and they are in jobs they referred you 95 percent of the people so let's go ahead now we will assist you on job and resume preparation everything but uh, what is the commitment we need from you is you just need to be a dedicated student here fully focusing on understanding and learning the subject if you have subject knowledge job will automatically follow you you don't need to much worry about it you don't need to run behind it okay job will automatically follow you when you have subject knowledge so i know your goal is getting into a job on pega okay keep your goal as it is but in order to reach your goal you need subject knowledge that subject knowledge in an enterprise level so it is not only technology training we are going to give you okay let me tell you see many times during our sessions we are going to fully focus on understanding about enterprise development model okay and the tools we are going to discuss about all this what are the different server environments what about business requirements who will give that how you get business requirements how you are going to do analysis and all what about testing part and all and one more thing that i have to tell you 
not only your batch from previous batch itself we started giving you training on pega prpc development as well as automation testing so pega testing also will be covered how to write test cases and test suit all that and one thing i'll tell you while you are learning pega whether development testing anything you don't need to bother about coding there won't be any coding at all so pega is fully no coding development please understand this and remember this because i am saying automation test cases usually in java python or any other scripting languages or any other programming language when used you need to write test scripts but pega is no coding application development no coding testing no coding devops is there no coding uh, data science is there so everywhere it is spreading but rest of the things are slowly getting developed so with pega the development has most of the opportunities in the market so why we are going to give testing training also for you it will not take more than 3 to 4 days one week maximum okay what is the reason you are also been given with testing training because to be a full fledged developer you must be knowing about even testing also see 70% of the projects i am sure you don't write test cases okay but what about future definitely i am sure that in future 100 out of 100 percent projects they will ask each developer to create test cases also in order to run it on the high-end environments and all okay so that time you should not come back to me again for the training so better we are going to make it from beginning now as the last batch itself we started that will be at the almost at the end of the course or maybe we'll introduce in the middle of the course okay how to write test case because you need knowledge first of all on development up to certain rules are being covered then we can go for testing things and all okay so our priority is completely development but you wanted to claim that you have full-fledged knowledge on pega let's add something additional to make your profile stronger in the market which is not even known to the real-time employees who are working in today's market not everyone but some many people they don't know 70 percent they don't know okay how to deal with test cases and all so this is what i would like to give you the background information before we start we are already done 14 minutes today so we have only 45 minutes rest of the time we will try to spend it uh, as much as possible to fully focus on understanding this particular concept okay so before we proceed further with this particular uh, ppt let me tell you one point about pega see what is pega and where it is used at high level i am going to tell you see pega is used for application development what is it for application development what are the technologies used in the market for application development java with any ui technologies and database python with any ui technologies and database and also there are so many other technologies like this with combination of ui and database you use full fledged see an application which has user interface this is for human communication business logic the core execution of the functionalities and database to store the data you are going to access facebook application by using its user interface okay whatever the activity you do by using ui that actions will be taken into business logic from there it will go get get stored into database permanently you register on facebook for the first time only you need to register second time onwards it will recognize and allow you to log in how come it is recognizing because your data is already stored into database at a high level user interface is something which you visually see okay in the browser and business logic you don't see database also you don't experience to see as a end user but it will get executed internally database is for storing purpose we need to store the data these three combination of layers okay are there in your application then your application is fully developed web application or desktop application even desktop applications also may have all this okay where humans can interact by using ui it will be processed by the system in the business logic and processed things are going to get stored into database this is very generic thing it's like an lkg learning in the software field okay these three will be there even in pega also if you are going to do application development using pega definitely you will have user interface you will have business logic we will have database 
generally to work with all of these three a developer has to write the coding generally user interface means html css javascript maybe additional some other uh, ui related technologies business logic means maybe java python or any other technologies equivalent okay database means yes oracle it may be sql server it can be anything any database you should have the knowledge about generally i'm talking about not you generally if you're working on all these three layers you should be a technical developer in user interface as well as business logic as well as database queries and all you need to write but the beauty of pega is it is no coding what is it no coding see when i say no coding usually when people think about the term term called coding they only bother about business logic so java and dot net c sharp or maybe python only these things we look at as coding but html is also coding html is also coding it is it's a kind of scripting coding okay it's a kind of html tags and all you call it a script but that is also a coding part related to the respect to ui technology javascript is also a script kind of coding and database is also coding but where you are calling the code as queries what are you calling it as queries so you don't need to be a developer you don't need to be someone who knows about coding while you are learning pega when you are learning pega you need to know about how to use pega provided environment this is pega provided environment i'll tell you how to install all that i will tell you by this time many of you should have done installation process i know okay but rest of the people you can do it there is no hurry okay as of today okay we will send you we will send you the instructions about how to download software and install it you can start you don't need to wait for us actually okay anyhow you can start it okay anyhow here you go when you are learning pega definitely you are going to work on all these three but what is the difference you don't need to be a technically someone who knows about coding of these technologies but you should know about how to use this pega provided environment to develop the applications without writing code how it helps in developing applications without writing code that is what you are going to learn during this demo sessions okay now coming to this one pega is used for what application development throughout this demo you need to keep in mind that you are going to develop business applications using pega any applications using pega as of now and now many times you might have heard about pega bpm so all of you did you hear about this term called pega bpm you might have heard about it pega bpm and all so what is pega bpm i know about pega just now i told you you know now pega is used for application development i just shown you visually this is the environment but you don't know what is there but what is pega bpm so before we proceed to understand about pega we need to know about pega bpm also it is very much essential a developer should understand about bpm see you say pega i know pega i am a pega developer but i don't know what is bpm there is no meaning it is it is there is no meaning at all because one must be aware of what is bpm and then only you learn any bpm technology without knowing bpm don't go for bpm technologies at all okay bpm tools let's say not technologies anyhow so before we proceed forward to understand about pega what is bpm see as i told you pega is used for application development please try to uh, imagine for some time bpm is also for application development bpm is used for what application development while i am going to explain you about bpm you imagine like bpm is also one product like this used for application development something like pega you will get a clear idea of what is bpm by end of today's session for sure okay clear let's go ahead now and start here so i told you pega is used for application development where it comprises of having ui business logic database you work on the development of all these three without the need of coding so why pega is called as bpm so what is bpm first of all see bpm abbreviation bpm stands for so far everyone clear before we go with bpm i have given you information about what is pega used for and also i told you bpm is equivalent to pega and you understand bpm is also for application development these are the three points everyone clear online also you can respond on the chatting window whenever something is been asked okay if you have any questions also you can respond on chatting window but interaction response at when asked is very much important okay 
so what is bpm bpm is used for application development okay and how bpm stands for business process management bpm abbreviation is business process management it has the ability which provides the ability to have end to end visibility and control over all parts of a multi step transaction in a business application bpm stands for business process management which provides the ability to have end to end visibility and control over all parts of a multi step transaction let's try to understand this definition in detail each word by word see if you are going to develop any business applications ultimately what is the reason you are doing it you are going to process your business functionalities using that software application correct ultimately if you are creating one application for your business okay that application is going to do what you used to do manually manually i used to process everything but i, I used to go to dmat i used to go to purchase and all but now i am going to an application and to add the search for the products add it to cart go to payment gateway pay and product will be delivered exactly what i was doing manually now i automated digitalized by using a software product correct same you are going to do so you are going to do develop your business applications in order to process your business functionalities whatever that you used to do manually okay you created it what do you call it generally you call it as a transaction so whenever you go and purchase a product in amazon that means you have made a purchase transaction you go to bank and deposit money what do you call it you made a transaction of money deposit depositing money you go and withdraw money from atm then what do you call it you have done a transaction of money withdraw see these are all things that you are doing withdraw money deposit money or purchase product or it can be anything else in a business apply for loan loan is begin processing loan processing has been completed overall what do you call this this is one transaction so any work that we are going to do in a business system we are going to call it generally in a business terminology called as transaction transaction is equal to what work that you do transaction is equal to work that you are going to do clear everyone so now what is meant by multi step transaction so you are going to develop applications using bpm and you are going to design a transaction model beginning to ending what is meant by multi step transaction multi step means generally a transaction will be done step by step see you take money withdrawal from atm are you going to do everything in a single step no first you are going to provide the machine card number and pin number okay after that it will internally perform a task you have done a task of input the details of card number and pin number okay by swiping or by entering and the system will do another task for you what is that it will validate whether card number given pin number given is matching or not valid or not that is internal task you don't see after that is successfully completed it will take you to next level asking you to select the type of the account from which you are trying to which you are trying to access you have selected the type of account it will match again this type of account is for this card or not okay everything okay proceed forward what is the amount you want to withdraw you have entered some amount this is another task system will perform another task internally this much of funds are available in the bank account or not funds are sufficient it will allow you to withdraw otherwise it will say insufficient funds so the task may be front end task or the task may be business logic task internally it might be happening and system is doing it whatever it is it's a combination of tasks task 1 task 2 task 3 task 4 and collection of all these tasks what do you call now tasks all these collection of tasks is equal to one work you are doing that is called transaction transaction is multi stepped means it will have different steps each step is equal to one task task 1 finished it will go to task 2 task 2 finished it will go to task 3 if you want to design a business business transaction model which has multi step transaction model and you can go for bpm bpm is going to provide you an environment to develop your business applications where you design the transaction model which is going to have multiple steps all the steps are connected to each other i will show you in pega environment you don't bother about the navigations i am doing but focus on understanding the point 
transaction begins here step 1 search is going to happen whether existing customer or new customer collect the details from the customer what are the address details billing address and shipping address suppose you are registering on amazon same thing will happen right and first here it is vehicle insurance what are your vehicle details whether this vehicle has passed claims or not and something else here commercial is this a personal or commercial vehicle something like that more data finally it is completing it is not full fledged process model for our uh, application but somewhat this is how a transaction model you are going to design in bpm as a visualized flow diagram is it very easy to understand for anyone or not it is very easy to understand the design you just add the flow shapes and connect it accordingly all are connected to each other connection link is there from one to another yes or no so like this you are going to represent your transaction model of the business processing that you wanted to do in your business application by using bpm environment it is very easy to develop this transaction model this is another project don't bother about it is also called as process or flow diagram you can say anything of your wish if i say transaction if i say work if i say process business process model or if i say flow diagram all terminology here equivalent in pega okay all we are going to represent one business process model beginning to ending okay everyone clear so if you want to develop business process management applications by using by designing your transaction model which will have multiple steps connected to each other then you can go and use bpm environment bpm environment and now bpm environment has a provision of providing it has the ability to provide you end to end solutions for your application development as well as accessing just let me tell you high level don't bother about too much in the reality you are a developer for example okay you work on development for development you need a tool or any ide editor right development tool will be there after that testing environment is needed so they might be using selenium automation testing or some testing tools they might be using and then maybe you don't know about this but there will be versioning tools you will be learning later versioning to version the code we need some tools you will get products versions right 5.1 released 5.2 released what are those for that there will be separate tools plus deployment means installation there will be separate tools for deployment okay and reporting what is reporting like tableau click you you have tools right different tools uh, power bi like this extraction transformation loading and reporting tools will be there so many different tools you will be using as a developer generally in reality anywhere else but the beauty of bpm is all these are integrated into single environment single product i say okay software product all these are end to end solutions bpm provides end to end solutions means development testing version management deployment reporting okay and let me tell you even requirements gathering you will be using what requirements gathering jira correct i will show you all these tools don't worry about it normally how it is available in pega how do we do i, I have to tell you one more thing we are going to focus on working with the, this requirement gathering also in pega okay but not at the very beginning after i finish up to uh, 15 to 20 percent of the course then i will tell you otherwise it will be difficult to understand okay at the very beginning i don't want to get into this so requirements gathering tools also again integrated here communication also will be there like this bpm is a product which is used for application development where you design and develop the applications and design your transaction model like a flow diagram okay all are connected to each other which will have multiple steps and bpm provides end to end solutions means completely from requirement phase to all the phases of development testing reporting and whatever i told like uh, version management deployments everything is available in a single tool called bpm that is the beauty of learning bpm tool okay for doing all of this no coding okay wash is coming okay so this is what bpm stands for business process management this tool is provided in order to process your business how your business processing to be managed step by step 
step one this has to be done step two this has to be done step three this has to be done like this your entire business that is going to be processed from starting to ending all and all the stages can be managed by using bpm tool that is what meant by business process management tool everyone clear about bpm online resources Agile workbench is correct. Whatever you told is correct. Okay. So BPM stands for business process management, which provides the ability to have end-to-end -end solutions about your application development and processing. And it provides a multi-step transaction model of design. So ultimately, you're going to use BPM for application development, where you are going to design your transaction model like a flowchart. This tool has complete provision of doing the things from requirement phase to reporting phase, including version deployment, everything okay so now next step so the technical terminology of deployment versioning you will be learning slowly on day one itself it cannot stick into your mind it is not possible but try to understand multiple phases are covered okay so now here you go now see you are going to develop the applications using other technologies using bpm also you might be using java with ui and database you might be using c sharp with some ui and database and you might be using python with some ui and database might be developing applications by using other object oriented programming technologies and you might be developing the similar applications by using bpm also what is the high level difference at a cream level let me tell you see your traditional application development or bpm application development both will have user interface i, I have shown you already i told you at the very beginning both will have ui both will have business logic both will have database other technologies you are writing coding pega you are i mean like bpm or pega you are not writing coding apart from that see the transactional representation in bpm can be done like a process what is it can be done like a process what did i say about process or flow chart okay this type of flow diagram representation for a transaction model is not available in traditional uh, object oriented programming language you don't you might be achieving the same but the representation like this diagrammatically for your transaction model is not available at a high level the difference between bpm and traditional application development is you have what process is there okay apart from ui logic database all these three layers one more is there finally you create and you embed everything here that is called process so i told you process you know by this time process is equal to transaction process is equal to transaction the other way around what is a process a process is the unit of work so transaction or work both means same yes or no so process is a unit of work you are going to use bpm tool to design your transaction model that is what the ultimate need of a business you are represented you called it as a process what is that process it is a unit of work that can be completed either by acceptance or rejection Okay, I'll ask you one simple question. Generally, imagine one transaction model for leave request management means two screens are there. One screen is for submitting leave request. Employee will do that. Another screen is either for approving or rejecting the leave request. Manager will access it. Only two, pretty much fair enough. Employee submitted leave request. First screen finished. Step one finished. It will go to step two. Manager, let's take two situations. In one situation manager approved it another situation manager has rejected it in both of the situations are you going to say the transaction is completed or not means in a situation where leave is approved you say completed or not leave request to transaction is completed another situation of manager rejected still are you going to say leave request transaction is completed or not it is completed but one direction it is completed approved another direction it is completed rejected i'll tell you another example also you have applied for a loan okay so loan has been processed up to the extent that you get a verification call and it will be finished next step you got a call saying that we are going to process your loan everything is okay just only one step pending taking approval from you okay these are the details you want to proceed forward yes yes proceed okay they proceeded you got the money credited into your account okay this loan transaction is completed successfully done let's take another scenario they said that we are going to process your loan one step pending four percent of charges are going to be done as a processing fees 
you said no no i am getting it for 2% somewhere else i don't want to proceed forward cancel it now what you have done you have withdrawn your application by yourself what did you do you are withdrawn you have withdrawn your application is processed up to some extent you are not liking it you withdrawn this time what do you say transaction is completed or not it is completed withdrawn okay next another situation it has processed up to some extent salary is not matching with the amount that you are looking for if you are not getting that much of amount no need to go for loan okay anyhow manager decided that okay this person has um, data not matching with the requirement we will reject it he rejected so rejection also it is completed or not it is completed rejected transaction can be completed in multiple different ways completed approved completed rejected completed successfully okay and completed withdrawn completed duplicate today morning you have applied for loan process today evening also again you try to create one more transaction for applying loan what will happen all your details are already available with us which is still in open phase we will compare and resolve the second one what you created as a duplicate one okay that is completed but duplicate you don't need to deal with that so like this you represent your transaction model as a single unit of work that is called process a process can be completed either by acceptance or rejection understand so ultimately what are we trying to discuss about bpm here bpm is for application development in a business especially for business application development if you are going to design your business process management application definitely there will be a transaction model the transaction model can be represented like a flow diagram that is what you are calling process process is one unit of work that can be completed in any of the ways so bpm has all and all the facilities of application development and transaction processing model everything okay so if you are going to learn pega now you can be clear that you are going to be a developer where you are going to deal with one bpm environment where you are going to create the required things for your application development related to ui business logic database without writing code where you are going to ultimately represent your transaction model like a flow diagram all this you are doing as a developer clear but nowhere it is coding related okay next see i am saying since very beginning bpm tool bpm environment you are going to use for application development right see if there is some environment definitely there should be some name for the environment correct see you are going to develop up, develop something by using c language what is the environment use maybe turbo c or some other environments notepad plus plus something you will use you are going to use java maybe notepad plus plus you will be using or eclipse environment you will be using like this definitely if you are going to do something by using any technology you definitely need one environment for it so what is the name of the environment just a high level when you are going to develop applications using bpm that environment name is called as what is that bpm suit what is it called as bpm suit bpm suit bpm suit is an environment which is used for application development so which is used for application development so bpm suit is used for application development it is the name of the environment where you are going to develop applications by using bpm okay so bpm suit is the environment like this is the environment for pega right like this only you imagine there is one environment which is called as bpm suit so if you want to develop applications using bpm you must have one environment that environment what are we calling bpm suit okay next see see here i am saying see bpm suit is a software system means it is a product environment means it's a product correct it is a software system that allows for the direct execution of the business process means this is the environment where which you are going to use to develop your business process management applications okay and you process your business you design like this you process your business by considering but when you are going to do process or develop you need to consider some built in business rules means the system bpm system is going to have certain rules defined which you are going to follow not you i'm sorry the system is going to follow at the time of development as well as processing 
development wise we'll see later processing wise i'll tell you for better understanding see bpm system is used for application development but you need to consider to have to follow certain rules okay what is the rule technically you are going to learn after we start our course but at a high level functionally in the reality i'll tell you generally let's take any system let's take uh, let's take an example let's say i am driving by a car on a road so i've seen a red signal once i see the red signal what is going to happen i am going to stop there before zebra crossing and when there is a green signal i am going to move forward correct see where am i now i am in a system what is that system you calling it as traffic system it is a traffic system within system the system it is a systematic behavior within the system the system is been impacted by a signal red signal green signal what are these traffic rules what are these traffic rules rules are the ones which are controlling how the system should behave yes or no okay there should be rules see it is not about this one even our personal life also i wanted to wake up morning 4:30 this is one rule i am applying for my personal life my system okay my biological system to work accordingly i am instructing it that is one rule that i have kept in my personal life okay i wanted to have lunch every day okay at 1 pm this is one rule i am applying in my biological system okay every system in this world works on certain rules it will be controlled by rules same is applicable for technology also there is no different uh there's no difference okay everyone clear so your bpm is running okay as a system but definitely it will be controlled by certain rules those are called as business rules because you are doing it for business application development understand so business rules will be there in bpm system this rules what does it do it controls the system let's take an example of simple credit card processing think of a business rule as a statement aimed to influence the behavior of a system think of a think of a business role as a statement aimed to influence the behavior of a system so let's take an example of financial transaction business process for credit cards a simple business rule may be a simple business rule may be the total amount can due by a customer should not exceed customer's credit limit the total amount can due by a customer should not be exceeding customer's credit limit simple example i have a credit card which has uh, a credit limit of 5 lakh rupees i went to purchase center i purchased for 10 lakhs i'm trying to pay using a credit card of 5 lakhs the payment of 10 lakhs what is going to happen it will not be allowed what is the reason there are no sufficient funds exceeding limit okay and if i try to pay below that only 4 lakhs i am trying to pay or maybe 5 lakhs i am trying to pay on 5 lakhs credit card no problem no problem okay like this there is something called credit limit this credit limit is influencing the system how it should behave same card someone else has they have 10 lakhs limit will they be able to uh, pay the same amount 10 lakhs yes or no but card is same see your system will be impacted by rules here the rule is credit limit the system is credit system okay rules will be residing in a database in technology rules will be residing where database credit limit is it is it written anywhere on the card anywhere do you see credit limit on card anywhere it is there with purchase center purchase center person don't know you know it but it is not there on the card then where it is residing how does the system know it is there with banking database correct the moment you swipe the card system will start running take this data it will go to banking database okay so ui you have done it will be executed in business logic it will go to banking database bring it back to business logic here it will verify limit and the payment amount matching or not i mean like limit is payment amount should be less than or equal to limit if that is happening system will behave as a behavior one if that is not happening some other behavior it is going to expose okay so like this business rules are always going to get stored into database okay from the database the business rules will be taken okay this database is called as 
business roles database so bpm system has environment bpm suit used for application development without coding where you design a transaction model like a flow diagram that exactly same you are going to do in pega no doubt okay where the system will be running based on some rules rules reside, reside in a database called business rules database these are the points we have discussed let me repeat bpm is a software system which is for application development you develop your business applications and design a transaction model like a flow diagram the system will be working based on some rules the rules will reside in a database called business rules database this is what we are trying to learn what are the components available in bpm okay all these works together to achieve your business goals okay as a developer you are going to access all these things in pega also now bpm system has business rules and rules are residing in a database how it will be driven see once you swipe the card the, the the application which is running should go to database to pick the rule respective rule bring it to the system compare it correct generally simple example i'll tell you one simple example i'll tell you okay see here see just imagine this may not be much clear but somewhat it is clear imagine we have a farm field we wanted to do cultivation okay ultimately the business goal is to grow some plants and get some fruits out of it okay now we need water for this correct so water is available in somewhere far away distance in a lake okay now i wanted to drive that water from that respective lake place to my farm field okay just imagine we have an engine motor engine which is placed in between and pipes are there one uh, one end is connected into water pond another end is connected to the farm field what is this motor engine is going to do now the engine is going to have interaction between all these two right these two will be connected engine is going to take the water from the lake drive it till where till the farm field that is what the place you wanted to uh, have your business being done correct right exactly same thing see in bpm also you will have three things one is application your bpm environment another one is business rules database so bpm environment it will be working according to the business rules rules are there inside database correct how it should be driven from database to application intermediate you need some engine correct that is called that is called as business rules engine it is not hardware it is software here we are talking about software in the diagram here the engine may be hardware but here what is this engine is a program software program so in between ui and business logic in between the system and database i'm sorry in between the system and database what will be there in, in between business logic will be there that you are calling as business rules engine what is the task of business rules engine business rules engine talks to the business rules database drives business rules from database to till bpm environment so anything you are doing on bpm system there will be an interaction there are components that gets executed one is business rules engine and another one is business rules database business rules engine acts as an interface between bpm system and its business rules database which drives business rules from its database to till application to achieve goals okay when you swipe the card program will run it will go to database fetch the limit of that particular card and try to compare it to achieve the required business goals accordingly the system should behave right so the same way in a bpm system we have bpm suit for application development and we have a transaction model of flow diagram and we have the system will be executing according to the business rules business rules are there and business rules are residing in a database called business rules database and there will be a software program called business rules engine which interacts with business rules database drives business rules from business rules database to bpm system to achieve required business goals understand this will be run internally we will be working as a developer to design the transaction models and all all these interaction will be there internally also you should know it's not at just an outline level okay i should not simply say this is the environment we use and all internally what is the mechanism of this environment this is what you are seeing front end system system middle what is there engine is there software program 
engine is interacting with what database where rules are there based on the rules only the system should behave who will bring the rules to the system that engine will bring engine is going to run in between it will interact with the database drive the rules from database to till environment to achieve your required business goals understand so far whatever we have discussed about bpm is a methodology what is it methodology follow this methodology develop one environment for application development and processing that environment to have business rules business rules database business rules engine all this works together during development and processing if you design such type of system for application development and business processing then that particular system is called a bpm system or bpm tool understand what are the bpm tools available in market pega bpm uh, yeah, i'll write down what are the bpm tools available in market pega bpm oracle bpm ibm bpm sorry ibm bpm okay competitor pega apian blaze cardis out systems etc there are many okay why these are called as bpm tool so why not we are calling it as technology because this is a system this particular tools are one system all these bpm tools are built for same purpose following what bpm methodology if all these are built based on bpm methodology all these will have workflow architecture all these will have business rules all these will have business rules database all these will have business rules in general so it's a product bpm system is a product which is meant for application development so you are going to work on one of such products called as pega prpc what is it called as pega prpc pega is called as bpm tool because it is built based on bpm methodology cardis is called a bpm tool because it is built based on bpm methodology all the systems commonly will have workflow architecture commonly will have business rules business rules database business rules engine all these will be there in bpm systems for sure so bpm is the methodology using that methodology you can develop your own tool for application development using any technology combinations and the tool will be called as bpm tool the tool must have what must be there the tool must have process flow architecture and business rules should be there business rules database should be there business rules engine should be there all these four components are there in bpm system bpm suite then that is called bpm tool now pega has developed one such tool using bpm methodology named it as prpc what is the name prpc pega is a bpm tool you are using the term pega 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 right that is generically we use so you use xerox machine actually xerox is a company correct but we call it as xerox okay that is a colloquial language generally you are saying pega 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 because in short you are calling just like that but it is tool is prpc you are learning prpc tool developed by pega systems what is the company name pega systems we leave about all these things and we simply call in short pega okay pega developer like that only we will call no problem whatever is understandable convenient to people that will be taken into market right so you are learning what pega prpc prpc stands for pega rules process commander what is that pega rules process commander process means transaction model rules means business rules actually it is not commander process commander together we have to read it is called business rules engine i will tell you now see pega is built based on bpm methodology that means it should have all the four components that we have discussed in bpm sr now but the naming terminology they have given is different you are developing your own tool so your tool has process business rules business rules database business rules engine but you want it to give your own naming terminology for all this equivalently okay bpm suit what are we calling here pega rules process command bpm suit what are you calling pega rules process command process or workflow what you call in bpm which is used for a transaction model design here in pega also same terminology process or workflow no difference for this one but remaining three will change whatever you are calling generally business rules in bpm system 
in pega we call it as pega rules pega rules is equal to bba business rules okay pega rules will reside in business rules will reside in business rules database right similarly pega rules will reside in a database called as rule base what they are giving technical terminology in pega if i say business rules database in bpm terminology or if i say rule base in pega both are same business rules stores into business rules database pega rules stores into rule base understand now you see business rules from business rules database will be driven by business rules engine correct pega rules from rule base will be driven by process command process command is equal to business rules engine to easily remember all these things you need to remember form fields water point and in between an engine this is what going to be done same in the technology also understand so like this pega rules process commander why the name pega rules process commander pega systems developed so I added the term pega abbreviation is not there i'll tell you the reason behind pega after some time okay pega rules pega rules are business rules business rules will store into rule base process commander will drive the rules from rule base so pega rules process commander rules are there process is there process commander is there everything is there understand everyone clear so what is pega used for application development you develop applications without coding okay and pega is bpm tool why it is built based on bpm methodology what are the four main components available in pega rules process commander environment pega rules process commander environment itself is a product which will have process or workflow architecture for your transaction model and pega rules are there stores into rule base process commander interacts with rule base and drives all this this is internal design and my developer why do i need internal design no no you have to learn to understand the design of the tool that you are working on okay these are the basic fundamental things one must be aware of if you want to claim as a pega developer okay so this is what we have discussed today bpm or pega used for application development pega is built based on bpm methodology that's why pega is called as bpm tool so any tool developed based on bpm methodology is called a bpm tool okay why pega prpc again prpc is the name of the tool pega rules process commander what are the four components just now i told okay ultimately you are going to be an application development when you are learning pega all this you will be accessing all this i'll be showing okay it's not simply i am teaching all this i'll be showing you will be accessing all this for sure but nowhere you need to deal with any coding okay clear make sense everyone so we discussed up to part one of the demo part two of the demo starting from this slide 16th slide onwards tomorrow it will happen see what we observe is many people they feel like oh what is there in demo will leave demo will i'll start from day one actual classes started let me tell you this is actual class this is also actual even though i am naming it as a demo it is also an actual class this is also subject tomorrow if you are going to miss okay what will happen is whatever we have discussed so far it will be see, it will be shown in reality that time you need to compare right no, day one this is what we have shown it will give you better knowledge do not miss the session for any reason tomorrow okay don't simply take it away like it is a demo what is there and all this is related to the tool that we are going to work on nothing beyond i, I did not tell you simply these many days of course this is what we are going to cover i did not even show you course content demo is not about i don't think that is a demo demo is about giving you clear idea about the product that you are trying to get into okay whatever it may be any technology or any tool now you have clear idea of what is pega why it is what is what is it being used for why it is called as a bpm tool if someone says pega you know if someone says pega bpm you have clear idea if someone says pega prpc you have clear idea previously you don't know this difference between these three terminals correct but now you have clear idea someone is going to ask you why pega is called bpm tool what is pega what is prpc you will definitely able to say minimum five minutes to anyone right so this is the way to learn the technology and understand any any product okay so fully focus on understanding and gaining the subject knowledge job will automatically follow you it is already eight o'clock online whoever has connected and offline whoever has attended 
and people who are connecting online if you have connected for the reason because you are not able to travel and if you wanted to join the live classes i mean like classroom session you wanted to switch any time you can switch okay any time a person can switch from online to offline offline to online based on your circumstances okay of availability and all okay both will be interactive same way but the same meeting link to be used for tomorrow also but let me tell you because it is a winter season i cannot wake up why you to wake up today i will attend online this type of mentality doesn't work out you are going to opt for offline strictly come to offline every day you are an online strictly join online but here and there there will be certain uh, deviations that you are not able to come really not possible you are traveling join online for that day not to miss the session okay you wish to come one or two days offline to see come down here you are an online student you want to come here for practice enroll and come here for practice offline you wanted to sit here till evening sit here and practice we have a beautiful uh, environment setup done at the third floor for practice purpose almost around uh, 100 people can sit and practice at a time okay and online people also for your practice at your home we will guide you okay say so i yes i can only rec uh, record this particular session i will share that okay yes see whoever has connected after seven o'clock five minutes or ten minutes okay my request is the first priority for any student is the punctuality you attend the session you join the session come to the session five minutes before and relax your mind should relax you come at seven o'clock five minutes with the hurry and you are sitting you don't understand you lose first five minutes of the class for sure you be available with the session i will open the session by 6 45 okay come here five minutes before either offline or online relax and we start sharp on dot seven o'clock we want to utilize that 60 minutes properly okay any questions doubts when we start sessions first 6 45 i'm joining right i'll give you that for 15 minutes no problem but this one hour seven to eight fully for technology training only first 15 minutes for doubts other than that during daytime you can reach out to us we have four pega developers we will guide you okay our students also will guide you accordingly no problem so wherever you are wherever you are practicing from i will tell you the methodology of learning also it will take some time before we get into the training program actually this is also part of the training this is not separate tomorrow will be the continuation slides don't miss the class the same meeting link to be used we can wind up for today i cannot wait for you or give you time now to ask me questions for personal questions and all the reason being i have another session which is already running batch okay you want to talk to me call me after 12 o'clock if us people and all may not be possible for you call me 8 8 pm or 9 pm evening time that should be morning time for you from usa and all indian people from india call me after 12 pm i mean like afternoon afternoon time you call me or you call on 9652532753 get clarify all your questions personally to talk to me ask them they will give number tomorrow i'll give my number okay you can wind up for today thank you for joining already five minutes late thank you thank you everyone this recording it will take time you will get maybe by 11 o'clock today you will be getting this recording plus this ppt plus other instructions to download software install software faq document go through it don't wait for it. Fine. Thank you, everyone.